Okay, I could talk about Pontiac all day. One last thing about Pontiac. I put this up, uh, not the same car, different one, but same color green, with a little, a uh, little bit of commentary. Yes, this is a real '68 GTO. It's not a Le Mans or a Tempest clone. I know that front bumper in chrome, huh? Making you think twice. You're used to seeing them with a the body-colored rubberized Endura bumper. Well. This was the standard bumper on the 68 GTO, Le Mans, and Tempest. They were all the same. They were all chrome. The Endura bumper came along in 68 as an option. And, uh, and it became... Why did I do that? It became a pretty popular option. It was something new. I remember when I was older, I was like about six years old, and I remember seeing the commercials on TV, standing in front of it, the new Pontiac Endura bumper, and they were standing in front of a GTO, and a guy had a hammer, and he was pounding the fuck out of the beak in the front there. Nothing happened, didn't dent, paint didn't come off, you know, <laughs> nothing happened to it. And uh, it was an option. Well, it was an option that caught on pretty good mainly because it looked real cool on the GTO. It looked much better with that body-colored bumper. And then you also had the optional hideaway headlights, which made it look even better. That's what my uncle had. His 68 was Aztec gold, black vinyl top, and there were bumper hideaway lights. He had a Super Duty 428 in it. It originally had a 400 in it. And he's the one that got me into cars with Bobby Tasker's old man and you know, from when I was like six, seven years old up, taking me street racing with them, taking me to the Wingwood Dragway, hanging out at the Tasker race shop. And, uh, you know, Tasker's a Ford guy. My uncle was a Pontiac guy, and uh, I fell in love with Pontiacs. And this became such a popular option, and it was usually by special order. And when a car would come in, they were seen on Pontiac lots, people looking at all the other GTOs that looked like this, they were like, hey, how come it doesn't have a bumper like that? I want one of those. Well, you got to order it. It's an option. Well, can you can you get me one? <laughs> Back then, they didn't have all these aftermarket, you know, pot suppliers, you know, the way we have today. They had to get it right from Pontiac, and you had to wait. And that's usually what happened when these cars would have an Endura bumper. They got into an accident. They got to a body shop. They had to order a new front Endura bumper for it. You had to get these things right from Pontiac at the time. There were no aftermarket, you know, pot suppliers the way we have today. So they would ask dealers if they could, you know, put that Endura bumper on it. And they said, well, you got to wait. You know, you can take the car. we got to order it. It might take, you know, maybe a month, you know, to come in. When it comes in, bring the car in. We'll swap it out for you, you know. And that's what started happening. <coughs> well, it got so popular by mid-68 that... Pontiac just started putting the Endura bumper on all the GTOs. They still did not all have the hideaway headlights. Uh, that's how that Endura bumper came along. And I've seen a few of these at shows. I talked to the owners. They showed the paperwork. And they said, man, you know how many people have walked up here and said, hey, is that a Le Mans clone? Because they saw the chrome bumper. His had the chrome bumper. I saw three, actually, over the years. And funny, they were all this color green. Uh, for some reason, one was a ragtop, and they were beautiful cars, all restored, and they drove these cars, uh, these cars were not trailer queens, they drove them and enjoyed them, which is how I think it should be, you know, and he said, uh, and I, I gotta take out the paperwork and show them, and, uh, by 1969, already Pontiac said, hey, to hell with that, we'll just put the Endura bumper on all of them, and that became the standard bumper. Now, in 1969, the Endura bumper also became an option on the Catalina and the Bonneville. It wasn't a full Endura like this. It only that beak in the front was the Endura in a little bit, but I think the bottom part of the bumper still remained chrome. And uh, you might see a few of them around, but those are special order, you know, special order. The GTO, I could talk all day about Pontiacs. 
So if ever you see one of these around, don't automatically assume that it's a Le Mans clone, a Tempest clone, you know, or even a T-37 clone. Although the Endura bumper was an available option on those other models. However, from my understanding, what I got is that Pontiac was a little reluctant to want to put that Endura bumper on the Le Mans the Tempest, and the T-37. They wanted it to kind of be relegated to only the GTO. So even though it was on an option list, you could check the box. You would get a little feedback from, oh, sorry, it's not available right now. And uh, you might get a little static from the dealer with them communicating with, you know, GM with the Pontiac division. They really didn't want those Endura bumpers on the Le Mans, Tempest, and T-37. They wanted it only on the GTO. However, they did make a little allowance on the Catalina and Bonneville for some strange reason. So, yeah. In fact, uh, the three guys that I saw, the three cars, one even said, yeah. I get asked all the time, hey, was this in a front-end hit and you couldn't find, you know, the right GTO front bumper for us? You put a Le Mans bumper on it, you put a Tempest bumper, and he says, I start laughing, and I pull out the paperwork and show them what I'm showing you right here. And I have researched it. It is very true. So if ever you see one of these around, and quite frankly, you won't see that many. You really won't see that many, because even guys that had these, they ended up swapping off that chrome bumper. In fact, the three cars that I saw, so ironic, they were all this color green, except one was a rag top. They said, you know, the cars were not complete basket cases when we got them. We did a full frame-up restoration on them. Took time, took some money. And we drive them. You know, these cars were not trailed to shows. They drove them there. They had a few miles. You know, they take them out on weekends in nice weather. He said, even during the restoration process, I was so, because that's how it was. This had a chrome bumper, even though it was a little rotted and rusty and dented up. I was so tempted to, when I had to order a new bumper, to order the Endura. But I wanted to keep it original. So that's why I put a chrome bumper back on it. So now, now can I shut up about Pontiacs, even though I could talk all day? I think I've said enough for today about cars, right? Hey, it could have been worse. I could have talked about other things that some people don't like, right? Okay, now have a great day. Have fun and stay safe.